Yo, what's up everybody? So today's review is Daddy's Home 2. So Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg returns in the sequel and now they're co-dads. So basically they're both playing a role of father to the kids. You know, Wahlberg is taking the kids these days. Ferrell is taking the kids these days and things are getting, you know, kind of jumbled up because now the kids have to deal with, you know, two separate, two separate lives and whatnot. And when they find out that the kids are tired of having two different Christmases, they decide to have one big Christmas with the entire family. But things don't go as planned when Mark Wahlberg's father, played by Mel Gibson, and Will Ferrell's father, played by John Lithgow, comes to join them on the holiday. That's when things take a turn for the worse. I saw the first movie, and honestly, I thought that movie was just okay. It wasn't nothing spectacular. So when they said a sequel is coming, I'm just like, oh, you know, why? The first one wasn't even all that good. But Mel Gibson and John Lithgow are a great addition to the cast. Like, knowing Mel Gibson's history... His character, it, it seemed like he's just playing himself the entire time. He's tough, he's rude, he's a ladies man. He's inappropriate as hell in front of the kids. He also gives out bad advice like, that's a grandfather you kind of don't really want around the kids. That's somewhat of a bad influence. And John Lithgow's like his son Will Ferrell, but like a hundred times more. I mean, in the trailers, we see him kiss when they see each other at the airport. And like, this is not the only time they kiss. I mean, they kiss when they do something good. They kiss, you know, when they're happy. It's like, God damn, like... Y'all relationship is really out there. But Mel Gibson and John Lithgow was funny as hell. Will Ferrell is a soft guy, Mark Wahlberg is the tough guy, and then it's just going back and forth, back and forth. It's like, we get that a lot. We got that in the last movie, so it's kind of like, your jokes are not funny. Like, the joke kind of revolve around a lot of slapstick. And it's at a point where, I don't know, in order for us to laugh, it's like they made Mel Gibson laugh at everything that happens. That way, the audience feel like they need to laugh too. That is actually funny. It's like... Every time something happens with Will Ferrell, you know, you got Mel Gibson in the corner just laughing. I'm just like, man, this reminds me of, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 when Batista had to laugh at every single thing that happened in the movie. So I'm just like, yeah, Gibson, you laughing about the situation is not making me laugh. If it's funny, it's funny. If not, it's not. And also John Cena's in the movie, but he's only in like the last 20 minutes. And he didn't, they didn't really give him much to do. So he was kind of just there. I mean, he had like... A, f a few funny lines, but other than that, it was kind of a waste. Overall, the movie is okay. Gibson and Lithgow was a great addition to the cast. The jokes were really played out, mostly just slapstick. The chem, you know, with the chemistry between Wahlberg and Farrell, you know, it's it's. I don't really care for it no more. It's not it's not really doing me anything. I swear, I saw this movie last weekend. It's called A Bad Mom's Christmas. I mean, hell, this movie even ended the same way. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't mind seeing a spinoff with just Gibson and Lithgow. In Vegas. That sounds good, especially with Gibson. So I would like that, but it's like, damn. Could y'all have, like, you know, released this a different time? But, yeah. So Daddy's Home 2, I give it. I give it a C minus. You know, it's nothing worth rushing to the theaters for. You know, if it's on TV, you might want to check it out. So Daddy's Home 2, if you've seen it, comment down below. Let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Peace.